during the holiday season. Now, last year, students and teachers weren't able to be in person due to the pandemic, so they came up with unique ways to raise money, like TikTok challenges and dares for teachers to do in exchange for money. So joining us now live from the Bath High School gym this morning is 6 News reporter Michael Thomas. Michael, so this is all happening this morning. I can hear it all happening behind you. What's going on? Yes, it, it is. And you know what? You two already know. Our producer Kyle sent $18 I, for me to eat Oreos dipped in that vinegar that I made oh, that face in no. earlier. Please do it. So you know what? Shame on all I of you see back it. I there. See Here it. they are. Everyone, it's it's the week of giving. There's toothpaste in there. They want me to dip it in here. It's a week of giving. Last year they raised over $5,000 more because Six News was here this morning. We're trying to do that here. Six, seen on Six section, there's tabs. Oh. <laughs> All right. We got we got Allie here. She's one of the students. Tell us about this while I chew this. Kyle. Mm. So the week of giving is just like a time where we come together as a community to raise tons, tons of money for community or families here in Bath around okay. the holidays. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, Kyle, I tried. Thanks for the $18 for the students and for the families giving back. All this is going back to families right here in Bath Township, correct? Yes. And uh, last year, you guys raised how much? $18,500. And the goal this year? $20,000. And you guys can help by joining, um, logging on to WLNS.com, seen on 6 section. We have Mr. P here. He kind of guides the students every year to do this. Tell us a little bit about this, how it's been for you. And while you're talking, we're going to move over this way to see who's getting egged this morning. Well, over the years, um, it's been an event where our students, our community really comes together. And we can do fun things like this. This is Mr. Dots and our principal. And uh, he wow. woke up early and the students have an opportunity right here that I think a lot of students would uh, love to take advantage of. Let's see. It. Let's see. Go. Oh, go for it. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, they are really it like. Hey, they, we said. <laughs> it won't break. The, wow, you got thunder. it in my eye. Brought okay. the thunder in there. Well, everybody, they're supposed to crack it on his head, not slam it. And we've got these lovely people here, too. They're going to sing for us really quick. What's the song you're going to sing? Jingle Bells. All right, go qu very quickly. Oh, jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open. Right. Do you guys know who sings that? Do you, no, do you guys know who sings that? No. We should let them sing it. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding. Now, everything that you saw here this morning, people did pay for for them to do as challenges. Oh, they did it again. You see that? They, they cracked another one on them. Again, you can help them donate uh, to families here in need in Bath Township by logging on to our website, WLNS.com. There's links under the Seen on Six section of our website. I just posted it on the WLNS Facebook as well. They're going to be selling these all day today, all day tomorrow, and we'll keep you updated with how many families they can help through these donations. Live this morning in Bath, Michael Thomas, 6 News. From Storm Tracker 6, this is Weather on the Sixes, sponsored by Auto Owners Insurance. Simple human sense. As is the case with every single Michael Thomas live shot, there's a ton to unpack there, but I think my favorite line was the teacher saying they brought the thunder on that one. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that from time to time. Let's take a look at temperatures across lower Michigan this morning. We're at 28 degrees in Lansing, 27 in Jackson and Coldwater. It's 28 in Detroit, 26 in Grand Rapids and Howell. Uh, we're watching a uh,